All right, Gemini, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica, and this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is covering approximately the next 7 to 14 days. We're asking for any messages you need to know the most right now. Jumping in here with the Wisdom of Tao. Okay, what does Gemini need to know? You got Sage. Your life is an exciting, challenging, and rewarding journey. You are here to learn from these experiences and to teach and inspire. What's happening around you is part of your voyage. With each step, you gain wisdom and a deeper understanding of your calling. Very nice, Gemini. Enjoy the journey. During this time period, you are meant to really enjoy the journey. All right, let's get some more from the Wisdom of Tao. What else for Gemini? Temptation. Hmm. Are you tempted to spend too much money? Are you tempted to allow yourself to be distracted by something that is entertaining but not really good for you? You know what I mean? Like watching too much TV or, you know, looking at your phone too much, that type of thing. It says the desire for excessive gain and accumulation leads to misfortune. Or I would say just missing out, you know, missing out on quality things in life. The greatest contentment leads, I'm sorry, the greatest contentment is in knowing when you have enough and all temptation is banished. Escape from the trap that imprisons you. Refuse to be a victim. Be free. Okay, so I would say don't be distracted by drama. Don't be distracted by um, even the news. Uh, it's important that we're informed, but we don't need to excessively you know expose ourselves to negativity to get the idea of what's going on okay we have intuition and dog dogs have very good intuition so do cats right trust your instincts you have a clear vision of things to come and you're being guided yeah so if you're distracted by negative things drama or whatever it blocks your intuition okay um, continue to use your sense a future to direct your current path. Unfold your spiritual acumen and be open to needed changes. You're in the right direction. All right, Gemini, you're in the right direction. Whatever changes that are needed right now, I feel like you're already changing. You're already making these changes. You're doing it. And this is spirit coming in to say, Gemini, you're doing the right thing. You're moving in the right direction. Don't be tempted to look back in the past because look at these cards, right? The dogs on this card here representing you and your intuition are taken off in this direction and the woman on this car is looking in the other way so don't be tempted to look at like drama of the past i feel like it's someone else's drama that maybe you're distracted by or you were distracted by communication and we have the rooster use your powers of communication and gemini is all about communication use these powers to win over others convey your thoughts through empathy and articulation your voice has to be heard because the matter commands attention. Patient and skillful communication is needed at this time. Okay, and Gemini, I feel like you're the one. If there's need for communication, you're the one who can pull this all together. If this is in the workplace or in a social group, you're the one who can take the lead here and be like, look, this is a situation where we all need to be on the same page. Okay, we've got to pop out here. We have the Two of Swords, and this represents Archangel Haniel. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy. It also says pretending there is no problem, or it could symbolize overanalyzing a situation. So I feel like many of you have made this decision, and you're double, um, what do I say double? You're questioning yourself. Like, have I made the right decision? Some of you have not made the decision yet, and you are um, second-guessing yourself before you even do it. Okay, so <clears throat> if you're being tempted to focus on something from the past or something that, you know, wasn't working out for you, and then you come to this point of reluctance to move on, ask yourself, why, why are you reluctant? It's something inside of you, you need to ask yourself this, you know, why you're reluctant to um, cut that cord and move on. It has to do with you, it has nothing to do with the other person. 
Intuition is being clarified by the wheel, and this represents Archangel Gabriel, a fresh new start, which is awesome. It could also symbolize the end of delays, a sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, and this can also represent travel or a new vehicle. I feel like somebody listening, Gemini, you're going to need a new vehicle soon. Always just common sense, have your vehicle checked, um, especially if you're going on a road trip or something, have it checked first. Um, I feel like someone is going to need a new vehicle and it's going to be one of those things where like you wanted your car to last a lot longer and you realize you can either put a ton of money into it now and still not know like how long it's going to last or maybe it's time to trade it in and it's like you you just kind of end up with another vehicle but it works out for the best it's just like something you didn't expect to happen but don't don't let this happen when you're on a big road trip or something like that have your car looked at before you do something like that your intuition is trying to guide you so listen to your intuition before you just like jump to go on that road trip your car might need something better if you have you know have it taken care of at home before you go anywhere you know far communication nice is being clarified by the two of cups and archangel Raphael falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship it could also mean forgiveness and the ending of challenges yeah exchanging gifts and it says don't give up on people you love and we also have this here with communication and with that rooster it's like someone needs a wake-up call this could be someone in a relationship. One or both of you may need a wake-up call about something that you're doing or um, neglecting in your relationship or in your home, like a certain responsibility that might need some attention. Um, for some of you, I mean, this card says your voice needs to be heard. And I feel like you're the leader here, like you're the spokesperson for some sort of situation where you're like, all right, everybody, listen up, you know. This could be in the workplace. You could be like, you know, people haven't been getting along for some reason. There's been a difference of opinion. And, you know, this is how things go here. Like, you could you could very well be the boss. And you might need to say, this is how things happen here. Um, we need to take everybody's you know, feelings and opinions into consideration. And that said, you know, that done, this is how we're going to proceed from here. So that's where the Two of Swords might come in for somebody listening. I just felt like a tug on my shoulder, which is kind of weird. So to me, that means this is a really important message for someone listening. If you've been reluctant to take the lead, it's time to. Maybe you're afraid you're going to get resistance or people aren't going to like you for managing the situation. But guess what? That's too bad. Everybody will be better off. Don't be tempted to let this go. Don't be tempted to let this slide. Okay. So this is the Starlight Inspiration cards. What else do we have for Gemini? Control. Link your own constellations and take control. Yeah. It's important for you to take control of a certain situation, Gemini. And we have love to the moon and back. Love your life. Love what you're doing. Love the people in your life, your pets. Let me try and get that in focus. Why, why, why is this not coming into focus? These cameras can be temperamental. All right. Well, I guess it's not coming in. But anyway, love to the moon and back. Love with all your being. No luck here. Huh. That's really weird how that happened. All right. Let's see what else we have. We have full moon. Protect your energy and hold your stars close. Yes, protect your energy and hold your stars close. Hold your dreams close. Hold those important relationships close with important people in your life, with what, whatever you love, you know, people, pets, your home. You don't need to air your personal business to everyone, even if it's a close friend. You don't need to do that. Um, actually that would be detrimental. Um, someone wants to know too much about your personal relationship. Sorry, Gemini, hang on. <coughs> <coughs> that 
allergy season is back. Sorry. Someone is prying about your personal relationship with someone. It's none of their darn business what they're asking about. So hold your relationship with your romantic partner sacred. Um, someone's like acting nosy or like they're just being a friend and they just want to giggle and talk about relationships or boys or girls or, you know, whatever young people do. But your relationship is sacred. It's not something to be talked about. It's not like you're going to have a new boyfriend or girlfriend next week. You're in a committed relationship. <clears throat> so, um, for somebody listening, you need to tell that person to mind their own business or just refrain from giving them the information that they're asking for. And they may be acting like, um, innocent or interested or acting in a way that, um, they think they're going to get something out of you, some information out of you. Don't fall for it. So your life is like, you know, really happening now. Like great things are happening. And someone is noticing that and they're envious and they're like, Gemini, like what about your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or, you know, whatever um, they're trying to make you feel bad about being successful in your life and try and guilt trip you and say that you're being like unprofessional or that you're being neglectful to your family. Oh, I don't like this message, Gemini, for some reason. That person needs to go. A lot of my readings right now, like so far today anyway, are about moving on from another person. Um, maybe it has to do with Mercury retrograde. Maybe it's the full moon energy. Um, we've got a lot of planets in retrograde. So I think there's a lot of recalibrating, um, and being cautious because Gemini, I feel like there's a lot of new things going on in your life and it's important to be cautious, even though you might have better connections now than you had before. Um, you still need to have your boundaries and protect what is sacred. All right, Gemini, thank you for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.